Hello friends, Pulkis here from Gadget Generations and today I have got something very new. Uh, this is uh, something unique, a unique hybrid IEM in fact and from a famous brand from Japan. So without wasting any more time, let me unbox it first and then I will tell you a lot of things about this product and this brand and also will share my initial impressions in this video. So let's begin. So here's my package that has been unboxed by me. First of all, this is a, first of all a little introduction about the brand. The brand is Oriolus, as we all, as you all might have seen in the unboxing part. Oriolus is a famous Japanese brand that deal in premium in-ear monitors. I have heard several of their products like the Isabel and the Trelly. Trelly is an absolute endgame IEM in my opinion, and this is their latest triple driver uh, uh, tribrid set uh, the Oriolus Sazlai. Sazlai features a I told you guys that it is a unique hybrid set because it features three kind of drivers it has a full size planner driver it has a dynamic driver and it also has a balanced armature driver three types of drivers working together to deliver an impressive sound performance for us uh, I got this uh, connector cable in the package as you might have seen this is not uh, included with the set by any means this is a separate purchase I made this for my Oriolus B8NS uh, B8N uh, that uh, tube amplifier external tube amplifier uh, let me just put it aside so here's the beautiful set the Oriolus Sazlai as I have told you guys this set comes at retails at around 900 US dollars and it's a very beautiful looking set uh, i have seen several of the images for this and uh, i can assure you guys one thing the set in real life looks immaculate and it's extraordinary in terms of its looks the blue color just uh, dominates that appearance and we have a very glittery faceplate over here so uh, and inside also i got this uh, package of some ear tips some double flange some single Plunge and this cable tie and a cleaning tool and this is also this also comes with a 4.4 amp terminated high quality cable well that's about the product that I have over here with me and uh, pretty impressive it seems <laughs> uh, there was nothing else in the package so I'm not going to unbox it again the package has been waiting for me at uh, the my nearest custom officer for the past a month or something it took it a month to get it cleared from the customs but it's over here now so let me enjoy some music over it and uh, I will be sharing my initial impressions with you guys today I'm going to pair it with the uh, Esteline Kern SP200, SE200 SC and uh, let me see and let us see how well does this perform and i will be sharing my initial impressions with you guys now after a short break till then if you guys enjoy some b-roll Well, it's time for some initial impressions now. Uh, first of all, I spent uh, just a few minutes with the set so far, like 30 to 45 minutes today. And uh, please take these uh, impressions with a pinch of salt as these are my 
very early impressions with the set just listen to like five to seven tracks so far and uh, my impressions will are bound to change uh, might change in the my final review so far pretty impressed first of all Oriolus is uh, what I know them for is the exceptional mid-range capabilities uh, I've heard the Isabel excellent mid-range rich and smooth and buttery sound and their trailey the my absolute endgame i am it has one of the best mid-range i have heard so far and the sazlai over here <coughs> just lifts up to the name of the or, or the brand with its uh, quality mid-range presentation it sounds natural the vocals are so smooth and so rich in their presentation they just sound <coughs> pretty good but 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 the best part of Sazla is not its mid-range in my opinion so far. It delivers an excellent bass response. It's so powerful. The sub-bass rumble is so juicy and delicious. It just, it creates a, I mean, it can compete with a full-size subwoofer with its presentation. Don't go on its small size. The pair delivers exceptional sub-bass response. It, extends really deep into the lower end region and the and the presentation for the sub bass is pretty good uh, instruments are sounding quite uh, crisp and uh, tight uh, in the lower end as well as in the high section uh, i don't find it to be lacking anywhere in terms of its presentation everything is so good the resolution is quite good not uh, uh, as good as the something uh, maybe or maybe uh, not as good as the Euclid in terms of its resolution or DC Euclid but on uh, terms of its performance it has excellent sub bass it has excellent uh, good punch in the mid bass as well the mid range sounds so clean and refined uh, the bass section is also quite refined in terms of its presentation uh, travel region is nicely extended and delivers quality details uh, in its presentation as well violins and electric guitars and pianos everything that goes into the high section is uh, quite smooth and inoffensive there is no uh, kind of no harshness or fatiguing or sibilance uh, a presence in the set by any means the pre the set maintains its uh, uh, quality even at louder volumes as well and uh, i don't find it to be taking a lot of power in my opinion it uh, runs pretty well off at uh, around uh, 80 out of 150 on my SE200 today. Well, these were just my initial impressions. I'm uh, pretty impressed with the set. Oh, one thing I just forgot. The fit. The Sazlai fits like a charm. This little baby is a smooth fitter and uh, the fit is pretty good. Pretty good. I just love the fit. Uh, the shell might look a little on the bigger size but it is not uh, by it delivers a it uh, pro provides a quite a comfortable fit and very very comfortable for uh, longer sessions as well well i'm going to spend my entire day with the sazlai now i will be soon dropping my complete review as well so stay tuned with my channel do subscribe to my channel also i hope you guys like the b-rolls that i just posted well that's about the oriel sazlai from my side the initial impressions Pretty soon I will be dropping my complete review. I am going to put the pair on burn in for about uh, 100 hours. So it will take about uh, 10 to 12 days for me to complete its review. Thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like on this video. For any queries about Oriolus's live or any other HiFi audio related gear, do contact me in the comment section below. Thank you.